What is up you geezer bloke type geezers, it is Chris Marley Games here, welcome back to another retro gaming video and today we are playing Small Soldiers on the PS1, yes I'm playing so many PlayStation 1 games lately, it's quite ridiculous, um, but who can blame me, I mean my favourite favourite console, my favourite retro gaming console is the PlayStation 1, so if you do want me to see, or if you don't want me to play some games that are on other consoles, I can do that. Just let me know in the comments below. I'm having some real problems with comments lately. Especially when, you know, I, I put up a video, but I don't get any comments on it. And I just, I don't know, it's just a little bit downheart, downheartening. I don't get anything, but, you know, it's it's up to some people if they do want to, uh, if they do want to comment. It's just, you know, people just don't get the time to do anything, and, you know, you hardly get anything. And it's just a little bit, it's not a bit unbelievable, but, you know, you, you can, you you can do what you can do, basically, but anyway, that aside, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to play some small soldiers. Now, I remember playing this game a long time ago when my my friend had this, uh, and um, yeah, I, I played a little bit of this very, very thinly. Um, I think we're just going to skip this, because I, I, I can't really be bothered watching the cutscenes and everything, I just want to play, so... So let's have a look. The Commandos have invaded Gorgon. Now, if you are familiar with the film that was released in the 90s, um, that's a really good film, by the way. Uh, really good. Very nostalgic to me. Um, and, yeah. Rescue Captain Gorgonite Brothers. The Astral Fires will take you higher. Use the Spirit Wells to traverse this realm. You know, every anything of this sort is a little bit alien to me because I completely forgotten the controls and everything but we will sort of learn it as we go along all right so I guess this is the beginning of the game then right okay so all right let's this is let's just see if I can find the find out the controls here so left that goes back that goes forwards so X so square is the fire that's pretty that's substandard what does triangle do absolutely nothing I'm assuming that X jumps. Yes, it does. And what about circle? That does absolutely nothing as well. So technically, we've got up, down to move. That to change direction. Then we've got the X... Sorry, square button that does that. And we've got X to jump. So that's pretty... Oh, right. L and R strafes. L and R strafes, yes. So there we go. So what is this? Is this like our only weapon, then? We'll die then. Well, I'm almost dead, so the future is definitely bright. Who's this Who's this um, crazy guy that's with me at the moment? He's pretty good. Okay, so we're in a different little part of the level here, so let's see what we can do with this level. Right, that propels you to a higher place, right? Yes, it does. What the hell am I firing? Is this a different weapon that I was not aware of? It probably is, you know. How do I change my weapon back to the original one? Ah, right, that's L1 that does that. And I'm nearly, I'm nearly dead. What the hell is that? Ah, oh, I know where I can get, I know how I can get that. A secret. Yeah, that's a secret. I was never aware of that. That's given me an extra life. Yeah. Oh my goodness, there's more enemies there that I know what to do with. Oh, get oh No, don't kill me. Don't fucking kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. I am nearly dead. I need life. Ah, here we go. Life. There we go. Where was my friend earlier? Where's my friend? Where did he go? Did he did he bugger off somewhere? Or did he die? I'm not sure. Uh, you know what? You know what my gut feeling is? I think he probably died. Alright, so it looks like we've got another weapon here. Ah, there's my friend. How, how do I save him? How do I save my friend here? I've got to find that... I've got to find... Uh, something that's holding him... Holding him... Ah, that's it. That's, that's what it is there, isn't it? So that releases him. So now he can go away and do stuff. No! I'm, you know what? I'm going to die. I'm going to die because... Oh! Oh! Uh, yeah, my, my my life is very 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 sl very low here. Get out of my way! Get out of my way! Yeah, have some of that. 
I'm able to get myself a new life. Okay, so what's over here? I'm getting shot at. Oh, Christ. There's another one of those droid things. No, don't fall down. Ah, oh, bollocks. Okay, first impressions on this game. I do actually like playing this game. It's really cool. I'm not actually fond of the control. Oh, what have I just done? Have I just died? No, I... No. Okay, so first impressions on this game. I do actually like it. It's very, very good. Um, very good. Nice, nice gameplay. Nice everything. I think the control is a little bit off, I think. I mean, I'm trying to... Con I'm, I'm able to control certain aspects of it but uh, I'm, so, I'm I'm sure that you'll get used to it in the, in the, over time I guess but I mean I'm trying to I'm trying to get this guy and I'm trying to aim at him I'm having real trouble which I shouldn't really have trouble and then sometimes I don't, I'm not even aware of which direction I'm going in and by the time I've realized I'm going in a completely different direction I'm already dead Come on, die. Is there a way of just... Is there a way of, like, doing somersaults and shit before I... Oh, God, I'm about to die. Oh, please don't die on me. Oh, fuck, I just died. Oss! Oh, right, okay, so the enemies don't respo respawn when you die. Oh, so that's quite handy. I didn't realise that that was possible. If I just stand back, fire this st shit at them. Okay, they're both dead, so that's cool. We can collect that. Whatever that does. Oh, I know what they do. It, yeah, I know exactly what those things do. They allow you to open doors. And I think the next level after this is a level where you have to collect about four of them to actually complete the level and open doors. Yeah, so if you... I'll show you what, what I'll do with this the thing I've collected, this green thing. Something will appear here. Yeah, and then they'll give you a key, and then you can use that key to open doors that res, res well, are that are re responsive to that color. So, so there you go. And that's the end of the level. Okay, so I've completed the quest. What have I been given? I've given a I've been given a password. Ninety four health, wind. Whatever that is. Twenty four kills. Can we just skip this? Seriously, because I just want to move on to the next thing. Okay, Dimensional Temple. Yeah, this is the level where you have to collect about, I think, four of those things on the left-hand side. Gather the... Yeah, they're called Chanters. Uh, to summon a portal, which is which allows you to complete the level. So you have to collect four of them, I believe. And they're all different colours. So there's a red one, there's a yellow one, there's a green one, and a blue one. And you've got to collect all of them to be able to complete the level. And each one that you collect, you get given that key, and then you use the key to open doors that are identical to the colour. So, oh, well, I'll show you a little bit anyway. We're not going to be able to complete the whole level because I've already entered 12 minutes. But I will show you as much as I can, I can show you. Oh, bugger off. Seriously, mate, bugger off. Oh, God, there's two of these fucking things. Oh, my goodness me. Bugger off. Seriously, bugger the frick off. Nobody freaking likes you. Oh, my goodness me. I've just lost two bars of my health. But, thankfully, they got this. So, jokes on you, motherfuckers. So back to this area. This is what I was talking about, about the different colours of summon... I can't remember the name of those bloody things, but... Yeah, if you collect one of these... So then, he su it summons this guy here. Um, and, yeah. This little red thing here glows brighter. The number of things you summon. So now I've got the green key. I can now start opening green doors. So there you go. And you can only... At the moment I can only open the green doors. Um, and then later on as I progress into this level. I'll be able to open more doors. Reveal more of the level and hopefully complete it as well. So this isn't actually an underrated game. I feel the controls are a little bit clunky. Um, like really stiff, but uh, you know, I'm sure most people probably don't think that, but that's what I think anyway. So, like I said, I'm only going to show you a little bit of this. Um, oh, let me see. Let me just where am I going? 
Where the frick am I going? Um, I'm looking for green doors, obviously. Um, if I can find... You know what? I think I'm going to leave it there. So you get the kind of gist of what this game is all about. So I'm going to quit this right now. Yes, let's do that. So there you go, guys. That is Small Soldiers on the PlayStation 1. A very, very underrated game, and I highly recommend you give this a try. I feel that the controls are a little bit, I don't know, a bit clunky at times and a bit stiff. But the proof of the pudding is it does actually hold it its own, and it's a very good game. I mean, if you want a bit of action, you know, here and there, I suggest you go and give this a go. It follows up from the film as well, if you've if you've actually watched the small... Small Soldiers film, it's actually based on that. So yeah, that, that's what Small Soldiers is all about, and that's the end of the video. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at chrismar 9 Check me out on my Google and Facebook, and check me out on my website. And of course, Pinterest, don't forget. And check my website out at www.chrismar9.com. Make sure you do all of that. I have been Chris Marta Games once again, and as per usual. And until the next video, I shall see you later. Hey, Dor. Peace.